Tea at Carly's place. Donna, in her pajamas, greets Sonny and asks if he's going to have breakfast with them. He tells her to make her bed and get dressed, and then they'll deal with breakfast. She heads off, and Sonny tells Carly he has news. Carly reveals she already knows she saw the celebration last night. Sonny wants to tell Donna, and Carly asks what the rush is. Sonny explains Avery saw Nina's ring already, and they know how she loves to spread the news. Sonny catches Carly refolding towels as he talks to her and asks what is going on. She says Diane was just here discussing the SEC case with her, and it's looking like an uphill battle. Sonny warns Carly there is a chance the SEC was pointed at her to get to him. Sonny says the SEC only came after her once he started working with some new people. Carly understands the timing works, but still, it seems Ned is the one who turned her in. She also tells him Diane got a tip the feds are interested in him, and Diane suggested she should turn on him and cut a deal. Sonny tells her to do it, but Carly refuses. Sonny won't let her go to prison, but Carly says it won't be Pentonville, it will be a minimum security place. Sonny fears she has no other option than to cut a deal and turn him in, and he'll be fine as he has Diane to figure things out. Carly says there is another option, she could turn on Drew. Carly says Drew is also a big get being a CEO and a quartermain, but she won't let him pay for her mistakes either. Carly reveals Drew has a plan, but it's a long shot. Before she tells him any more, Donna returns for breakfast. Carly says first, she and her daddy have to talk to her about some changes coming. Alvin expresses concern that Nina is blowing up her life for revenge. Nana says this isn't about revenge. It's about forging a relationship with her daughter. Nina comes up with a plan to put doubt in Drew's head about Carly, and for him to think Carly is cutting a deal to turn on him. She needs to find someone Drew trusts to give him this information, and she thinks she knows just the person. At home, TJ leaves another message for Molly. Stella drops by unannounced, and TJ thinks she's exactly who he needs now. She can see something is weighing on him. TJ tells her that he and Molly want to have a baby. But medical challenges mean it might not happen. Stella can see he's heartbroken, and is certain Molly is too. Stella says, while this is happening to both of them, this is likely agony for Molly. She tells him Molly is mourning a dream and she is going through something that as a woman he can't understand. She advises all he can do is be there for her and love her. TJ asks Stella what brings her back to town. Stella read about what happened on the ship and knew she had to come home. She asks if it has brought anyone any closer. TJ says Trina and Curtis are fine, but Curtis and Portia are another story. He relays Curtis still hasn't moved home. Stella asks if Curtis was angry with Jordan for not telling him about Trina. TJ says he understood it wasn't Jordan's secret to tell. Stella decides to take off, and TG says he's so glad she's home dot he bold. And the